SupportSync's customer portal can be styled to match the visual identity of your brand. You can also add information about your business and support policies. In this video, we'll enable the customer portal under settings. Next, we'll add company-specific information to the portal using custom HTML. Finally, we'll cover some of what's possible using custom CSS to enhance the visual style of the portal. Let's get started by enabling the customer portal. Under the Administration tab, click the Brands option and open your brand. Click the Application Settings tab and select Yes to use the customer portal. Save the changes and close the brand. Now reload the page. Under Settings, notice there is now an option for Customer Portal. Click the link to open the Customer Portal customization page. Let's start by uploading our company logo. Click the Choose File button and select your logo. Then click Upload. Now let's add our phone number to the top of the page. Select Header from the Element menu to view the HTML of the page header. We'll enter some custom HTML to display the phone number. Click Preview to see the changes. You can use custom HTML to customize the header with links, menus, and more. To publish the changes, click Save. Next, let's customize the body of the home page with some information about our support policy. Select Body from the Element menu to view the HTML of the home page. Notice that the main body text can be changed here as well. We'll add some custom HTML that informs the customers about our support response time. You can add custom HTML to display images, links to other resources, and even embed videos. Click Save to publish the changes. It's time to take a look at the CSS file and begin styling the portal. Select CSS from the Element menu to view the CSS file. First, let's change the background color. Now let's add a background image. First, we'll need to upload our background image file. To do this, select Images from the Element menu. Choose the file you want to use as a background and click Upload. Now, using the link to the image file, we'll add some custom CSS code to display the background image. Next, we'll change the background color and border of the top of the page, under the header section. Now let's modify the main heading on the page under the body section. First, We'll add a transparent background by modifying the Home Heading Wrapper. Next, we'll change the color and size of the main icon. The font of the body text can easily be enlarged by changing the CSS for Home Body Text. The 
The style of the icon links on the home page can also be changed under the icons section. Let's start by adding a transparent background to the links. Now, let's change the color for each of the icons. Lastly, we'll change the color of the footer border under the footer section. Click Save to publish the changes. To view the published changes to the portal, enter your support sync domain without the slash CRM on the end. You may have to reload the page to refresh your browser cache. This has been a brief introduction to customizing the customer portal. There are many more options available, so if you have any questions, please send them to help at supportsync.com. Thanks for watching.